Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to learn about DNC or receiving RS communications to the Haas machine. I have two softwares open here. I have the simulator open on the left and I have the uh, NC plot open on the right. So another one of NC plots useful tools is the fact that you can either run straight direct network connection meaning that the control will use the external computer's memory to run the program so if you have a, a control that has a small amount of memory and you need to run a large program then direct network connection is the way to do it or you can simply transfer programs into the memory using this connection method so ahead of time we would have our, uh, our computer hooked up from COM port 1 on your computer, which in my case is a, a 9-pin male connection on the computer, so it needs to be a female connection on the cable. Two on the machine is a 25-pin connector, and it needs to be a null modem cable. So N-U-L-L, -L, null modem cable. If it's not, this simply won't work, as I've found out the hard way. So once you have those connections made, then we need to set up our software to communicate with our machine. Otherwise, again, this won't work correctly. So if I come up here in NC plot to DNC, I go to COM setup and see if I can find the window. Here's my COM setup window. I have to minimize that so that I can see it. Okay, I'll minimize this. Here it is. It's underneath it. So that's going to be COM1. My baud rate. Actually, this is my the wrong setup. So I need to go, and I've created this default file now. I did that by let me try to remember how I did this here. Well, I'll just show you the settings for right now. So I'm gonna open the default Haas and look at the port settings. So in reality, this should have, and I'm not sure why it's not doing it, but this should be 9600, data bits are going to be 7, parity is going to be even. Could be COM1. If we go to receive, let's leave that alone. Go to transmit. Wait for Exxon before transmitting. Make sure that's checked. Now we're going to save this. Oh, that's where we did it. That's where we created the name. So now we would save this as Haas or whatever default file you wanted to create. So I'm going to just say. Uh, yes, I want to replace it. So now my communication has been set up correctly. There are other softwares that allow you to communicate through RS-232. It just happens to be that NC plot is pretty handy, so we're going to use it. So in that case, everything's set up. Now I can go ahead and close out there. Bring back up my simulator again and NC plot. Here we are. Here's the program. So now, twofold communication cables are done, but we need on the machine end to do something and on the software end to do something. So it doesn't seem to matter which one you do first, 
you can go to the control you can go to list programs and type in the number the program number which is right here starts with an O O one two three four five now in this case you don't have to have the file extension if I say receive if I click I'll receive RS232 now the machine normally obviously the machine tool isn't going to go looking like this but the software does so in this case I will just select because I know this to be absolute initials I'm going to say open okay so you can see it pops up there but in reality it's not going to pop up yet you have to come over here to DNC you can do one of any of these methods you can select all of this and send selected file if you click send file now I have to navigate to the same place where I just was over here which is Apple programs for me anyway for you you'd be navigating to wherever you had saved that file in this case it was absolute initials I'd say okay and then open and start and then if you had your communication set up it would have sent that file yes, I'm gonna port that transmission so that's one way that is going to load it DNC so in other words it's still going to just transmit the file into the machine tools memory so if I want to run truly from an outside computer then I need to run DNC which is really simple you just hit MDI button twice now the simulator is not 100% correct but normally it's going to be say it's going to say waiting for DNC something of that nature so then that's done come back over to the computer the external computer do it the same exact way you just done you can either send file you can select and send or you can just let send and it's going to send what's over in this program window so dnc send start and then normally on a machine tool you see it pop up here and really all you can do at that point is hit cycle start and it's going to run that program from the external computer so in this video you should have learned how to set up and communicate with your RS communications through ncplot to a machine tool. One other thing, we talked about settings, and settings are going to differ from to machine from machine to machine. And uh, it's not going to let me come in here and actually show you much about the parameters in this simulator, unfortunately. But you'd have settings come up. And those setting numbers in here need to match exactly what we had set up as far as our comm setup over here. Otherwise, again, it's not going to communicate effectively. So your baud rate, there will be a setting for that. There will be a setting for data bits, parity, stop bits. And there's also a setting for X on, X off handshaking setting. This concludes the lesson.